Website builders are a dime a dozen and as we move into 2021, it's important for small business to have a strong presence online. Now, the key foundation to having a strong online presence starts with choosing the best website builder for your small business. Hey team, welcome back and thanks for joining me today if it's your first time visiting this channel. Now in this comparative video, I'm excited to share with you the top 7 best free website builders for small business. Today we will focus on 3 important areas to choosing the best free website builder for your business. These include the ease of use for beginners, the overall professionalism and attractiveness, and the range of customizations and integrations of each website builder. Okay, now just quickly guys, before we get stuck in, consider subscribing if you haven't done so already, and that way you'll stay updated with actionable videos and tutorials designed to equip you with the skills, knowledge, and tools to grow your small business online. And with that quick note, let's go ahead and dive into our top seven best free website builders for small business. <music> Okay, so diving into the first free website builder, we have Site123. Now, this is a great option for building a basic small business website for complete beginners. The reason being is Site123 allows you to simply navigate through three simple steps to quickly launch a beautiful, user-friendly, responsive website in minutes. Also, the content manager is extremely easy to use for updating and adding your own information and content to your website. Unfortunately, if you require any additional integrations and features, you will need to upgrade to a paid plan, as these are all restricted to Site123's paid plans. Now if you would like to get started with Site123, I will link a beginner's tutorial up above for you to follow. Next we have Wix, which is one of the most popular free website builders on the market today. Wix allows you to build a website by simply answering a few questions with the ADI artificial design intelligence technology which is ideal for beginners and then customizing your website with their visual drag and drop builder now although this is a relatively easy to use website builder it can be quite a nightmare due to all the overwhelming features customization options and integrations available this can give complete beginners a headache and will take time to get used to the overall navigation of Wix. However, like I said, Wix provides extensive integrations and customizations for free, making it a great free website builder. Wix websites look stunning and are responsive. However, unfortunately, the free plan has a lot of Wix branding that can make your website look unprofessional. Now, I will link a beginner's tutorial above if you would like to get started with Wix. Third on our list is Google Sites, an awesome free website builder powered by Google. This website builder integrates well with Google applications and is easy to use with their structured block builder. Simply drag layouts and elements to build your website pages. This is a practical and useful website builder for beginners. Google Sites are beautiful, responsive, and have limited Google branding, making Google Sites a professional looking website. Google Sites is a great option for basic local small business websites. Again, I will link a tutorial up above if you would like to get started with Google Sites. Next on our list is Google My Business. Now this is only relevant for local businesses that operate in a local geographical location like restaurants, plumbers, builders, dentists, etc, etc. First you must register your business for Google My Business and enter all your business information. Then when your listing is verified you can quickly publish your Google My Business website in literally seconds. What Google does is takes all your business information and puts together your website without you having to lift a finger. However, there are many limitations and disadvantages of using Google My Business as a website builder. Unfortunately, this website builder does not look very professional. You're also limited to one page, you have no integrations with apps, and you have very limited options for customizations. Now on to the fifth website builder and this is called WordPress. Now this website builder is more of a CMS, content management system. However, it allows you to create a custom free website or blog. 
This would not be a top of the list recommendation for beginners as it does require some experience with the overall navigation and customization components of the website building functions. However, you do have a lot of freedom for customizations in terms of the overall design of your website. Now, the issues with WordPress and its free plan include the obvious WordPress branding on your live website. Similar to Wix, it's quite obvious. And also the restrictions to plugins or integrations with the free plan unless you upgrade to a paid plan like with the website builder site one, two, three, you are limited unless you upgrade. However, this is a great option if you wanna build a blog and you wanna start creating content or you're just looking to create a basic small business and information based website. The six best free website builder I want to discuss today is called Webly. Now, Webly is a similar website builder to Wix, however, more simplistic and less complicated to navigate, making it a more appropriate website builder for complete beginners. Again, similar to Wix, you have access to free apps and free themes to add extensive features to your website and to play around with the overall layout and theme of your website. Now, although Webly websites look smooth and responsive, they again have Webly branding that will impact the professionalism of your website. And you can see that it is quite obvious with the free plan. Now, just a side note, with all these website builders, the majority of them, the free plan will have their own branding, which does take away from the professionalism of your own brand. However, there's a few that we've talked about that do not have this branding. And this is a huge advantage for these website builders. Now, if you want to follow a complete Webly tutorial for beginners, feel free to click the link above. And the seventh best free website builder we want to highlight today is called Ucraft. This is an increasingly popular free website builder for small business. Each theme or website template is smooth and modern looking in terms of design. The website builder is relatively easy to use with basic elements that you can drag and drop and simply click to edit. However, this website builder has many limitations in terms of overall design blocks, customizations, and integrations. And although the website itself, once you've built it, looks modern and responsive, similar to Wix, you have an obvious UCraft branding that is fixed to the screen when you are scrolling, which again impacts the professionalism of your website. However, this is a great option for beginners that want to build a basic information based website. And for those that are not a fan of any of the previous website builders that we've discussed today in this comparative video. Okay, now just quickly before we finish up, it's also important to note that each of these website builders that we've talked about today have paid plans, which means if you see that your free website builder has limitations, don't jump to another website builder if you've put all your content and created your ideal website. Look into the paid plans and see if those paid plans can satisfy your requirements and then simply upgrade. A lot of these paid plans aren't too expensive and they're affordable, especially for small businesses. And there we have it guys, that is it for this comparative website builder overview for small business. Take the time to test a few of these website builders that have stood out to you during this video. The best free website builder for you is going to come down to your personal preferences and business requirements. Now, if you have any questions about this video, make sure to pop them down below. And with that said, thank you so much for watching this tutorial all the way through to the end. If you got value, make sure you leave a like and subscribe if you haven't done so already. And with that said, Thank you so much. We will see you in the next video. Take care, guys.